And we can get started with today's lab notes with this full room start. Yeah, but <laughs> a lot of people have been jumping into Warframe and I've... I'm quote unquote late to the party because not that I haven't been playing Warframe, it's just that I'm starting to play Warframe after everyone else kind of hopped into it. That sounds weird. I, ha I started streaming Warframe after everyone else has started streaming it because I, I, yeah, again, I'm, I, I have a couple, I have nearly 2k hours in Warframe. I'm all the way in the end game already. I just have never really streamed it. So I'm late to the streaming party, I guess. Not late to the Warframe party, but late to the streaming Warframe party. Yeah, I noticed Cute Dog was playing yesterday, which is why I was like somewhat nervous about trying it again today. I was like, is it gonna, is it gonna look like I'm copying him? Cause I'm not, I've been playing this for a very long time. You were just about to suggest a plat to exalt trade. <laughs> why can't why can't Path of Exile can we trade for MTX points? <laughs> that that's not a conversation we should get into. <laughs> the answer is Warframe has an economy based around that entire thing. Path of Exile does not. <laughs> Thousand hour expert. Yeah, I have a thousand hours of QA in Warframe. And don't give them ideas. Pee Wee China does. Oh. <laughs> well. That, that happened, I guess. Cute dog's copying by trying to be cute. Well, he's trying to be cute, but according to most people, I am just cute. There's a big difference. Uh, I need tips on how to farm enchants faster. What's the fast w fastest way to do it? Fast way to do is have a very fast lab runner, and then run very very short labs with while grabbing as many dark turns as possible. Which means you are kind of limited to how good the lab is that day. Which kind of sucks. But ideally, you'd somehow be able to do six to seven rooms and grab while well, grabbing four dark shrines. Or we get twice enchanted and have a character that can run at a bazillion miles an hour. Also twice enchanted. Oh that's also okay, that's so yeah, I forgot about that. I forget twice enchanted because I don't like dealing with trade. But twice enchanted is another thing you can use, yes. Uh, is that the jewel that you slammed? Is it with the murder side jewel? Is that what we're talking about? Let's do let's do a line get familiar with the map layout so I can hope you get double and can dark shrine. I mean yeah that's pretty much it. Do short try to do short labs that give you a lot of dark shrines and then just pray. Make sure you have a lab runner to do it fast. Is there any build that can run fast even on uh, not so good days? I mean five to six minutes. The Roadrunner builds. The Queen of the Force Pathfinders that run at 300 to 600% move speed. Those are the builds that you use to farm super super fast. Uh, let me... hold on. Let me check the bottom left real quick just to make sure I'm not accidentally skipping something. Yeah, someone in my chat yesterday posted on Reddit that they had a 617% move speed character. So I guess feel free to look at that. <laughs> if you hit double enchant dark shrine with twice enchant, does it give you four enchants? It gives you three because it's one additional use. So it's two additional one uses. It's not doubles the amount of times you can use. It's just one additional use. Um, I have two variations under exclamation point lab builds. I have two variations that are kind of old but still, still work. One is Blade Flurry, one is Blade Vortex. Those are roughly 300 to 400% move speed, depending on your gear. Alright, and that is an escort gauntlet. Uh, 
Uh, there you go. Now oh, hold on, what layout was that I was just in? Did this have the trap gauntlet in the middle? No, it did not. Gargoyles. And dual swords. Yeah, that's not nice. That's not fun. Goodbye, Zaro. Oh, and I also will mention I will be doing all four lab notes tonight as well. Dan is still taking Dan is taking a couple days off to let his hand recover. Those, those are the current, yeah, those are just the current uh, Roadrunner builds I have. I don't know, I haven't really looked, tried to find an updated one since those are from 3.1. They just still work in the current patch. The Roadrunner build is not a leak starter. Agreed. Roadrunner is not a leak starting build. Turn on the sun. Three X not enough for Roadrunner. You probably could do it on three exalts. You probably could. You'd be doing it on a five link. Uh, dual, like maybe not, maybe definitely into the blade vortex variant on three exalts. Definitely on the blade vortex variant. That one is gonna be rough on three exalts. But um, the blade flurry ver version where you just need a five link and two dream feathers might be might be okay. The main the main thing is like the build itself is not that great for like mapping and whatnot. That's why I wouldn't call it a quote unquote league starter. You need specific e evasion gear, and in addition to that, it just doesn't clear well. Has face cam now? I've been using a face cam for a while now. Argus, why? And I just tapped the microphone and stand by accident. Sorry. I haven't watched in a while. Can't remember the last time I didn't use a camera. Can't remember the last time I didn't use a camera. I probably had shorter hair back then. I guess you're in a side room. Why? Okay, this side room. Do you have anything in it? Or in does this have anything in it? Addressing the room as if it's sentient. It might be. Uh, this looks like a dark shrine. This is very much a dark shrine.
phase two, what do you have? Essences. Eh, that's not good. <laughs> that's double damage. That's not good. Uh, there's one dark shrine, a trap bound, and a puzzle still missing. The sign Roden War just looking at your available character pool. Uh, I would say no. I would definitely give that a hard no. You really want to be a, a Pathfinder for the Roadrunner. You really, really want to be a Pathfinder for the Roadrunner. Alright, this is the Trap Gauntlet. I'll go in that room after I, I tag this room over here on the left. There's nothing in this room. That's a, that sucks. Yeah, there's nothing in the middle room. That's a problem because that was the fastest route. Well, that was the shortest room. Thank you, Sketch. All that's left now is a dark shrine somewhere. Um, the dark shrine can be in here. Dark shrine? <laughs> if you're in here, that'd be significantly easier. Hey, the dark shrine's in here. That makes things significantly easier. There you go. And th that gave me the second enchant. Sweet. up this uber lab then is the additional mine node worth it if you already place four to five mines i would say yes because if you're placing if you're using a detonate mines totem you want to be able to place as many mines down as possible just so you're going to detonate mines don't can detonate all of them at once your maximum amount of mines you can place down is not that relevant if you're detonating them instantly I 
I forgot to take a screenshot. Let me go do that. Dancing Google build, I recommend that and remember you started one. How did you approach it and how did it work out? Um, I did a hybrid summoner where I was using Spectres and Dancing Duo. The Dancing Duo carried more than the Spectres. And the only reason I stopped playing uh, was because I was feeling path I was getting that Path of Exile burnout. I also I was having trouble bossing with it. My character had very <laughs> was very limited in terms of mobility. And then then on top of that, I have very I had like no means of eight life recovery. So I was in an extreme glass cannon, which didn't feel good. But it cleared very, very well. That is, it really felt like a clearing character or not a bossing character. And I guess for whatever reason that having just a clearing character didn't really appeal to me enough. So I stopped. Alright, let me go and get these lemnos made. 